Damn it, Susan, stop being so lazy. Afternoon there, ladies and germs. We got ourselves a fun one today. It's contraption building time. There's Dexter. This one's really goofy. So what I'm building is a Lazy Susan for painting, for doing high quality paint jobs on rims or wheels, whatever you prefer to call them. The reason why I want to do this is because with the way I'm designing this is the wheel is literally going to be in the air on this old jack handle and we're gonna have a lazy Susan on top of it this way we're not painting on the floor you're not hunched over and this being the center post for holding the wheel is also what will give you the ability to easily paint the barrel portion of the wheel for the times when you need to do that this is all scrap just stuff I had laying around this is some old steel off of my car trailer and then a uh, piece of 3 16 plate that's going to hold our... Got you all up on the tripod for once. There is nothing intended to be super high quality about this project. It's just a tool. So one of the reasons I wanted to tackle this project is I got myself a cheater lens for my helmet. I've always wanted to try one. It's a uh, two power. I couldn't find anybody that makes one for this series of Lincoln helmet. So I ended up getting the one that's for the more standard helmets, and then I just very easily attached it to the back side of the frame with a couple rows of clear RTV. This stuff is all rusty, so I'm going to put the ground on the part instead of the table. You want a reasonably wide base for this project so that your wheels don't topple over on you while you're painting them. As you can see, I'm big on safety here on this channel. I got my uh, sophisticated old uh, driver's jacket back when I was drag racing. And then, of course, I got my uh, flame proof champion shorts on. And I can't stand wearing welding gloves because I don't like the lack of dexterity. And it goes without saying, you can make this out of whatever you got laying around. That's kind of the whole idea behind this. Just scrap stuff. Hell, you could probably make one out of wood if you wanted to. Jack handle. We're not taking this thing to the concourse de elegance. This cheater lens is ridiculous. I have never been able to see a weld that good in my whole entire life. All right, there's our mast. Let's build the lazy Susan part of this thing. I think that's coming off of there. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to weld some feet onto the base so that it doesn't wobble so much on the floor.
right, I think we're ready for a demo. Alrighty, so I got us a wheel to demo this thing with. Much more stable. I'm going to leave this piece two pieces for portability. It's literally just going to sit up there. You can see how much room we have access to the barrel. I'm going to be spraying these with an HVLP gun when I do the clear. And I want to be able to get the gun about right in here. And then I can spin the wheel as needed. On this particular car and these wheels, the barrels are going to be very exposed. So I want them to be painted the same color as the faces and cleared. But even on the top side, it'll help to be on the Lazy Susan much less running around the wheel with a gun and a hose when you can just stand in one spot and move the wheel. I like it. I think the one thing I might try is uh, getting a 6 inch Lazy Susan instead of a 10 inch. It doesn't need to be that big. But uh, overall, I think this turned out really good and it's going to do exactly what I wanted to for minimal cost. Hope this helped give you some ideas. Like I said, this is like artistry stuff. Use your imagination, get the end result you want. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you on the next one.